Hey guys, this is Russ here with FatToStack.com and today I want to talk to you about traveling while on a diet. A lot of people have a tendency to fall off the bandwagon when they go on a road trip, when they're moving, and I'm going to tell you right now, that's not a good reason. First things first, you got to make sure that you're going to be proud of the things that you accomplish. And if you fall off the bandwagon when you're going on a road trip, this is one of the pinnacle times, one of the top points when you can prove to yourself that you can do anything with that diet that you're on. So moving forward, how can you accomplish, how can you really nail down that diet? How can you make sure that you're winning the entire time that you are on that trip? So I'm going to go over three rules. First, you're going to count your calories. That's the most important. The whole trip, just like you would normally when you're on your diet, you're going to make sure that you're counting your calories. Rule two, don't deviate from your plan, whatever that is that you have set in place. And rule three, don't make any excuses to deviate from that plan. Okay, first off, plan ahead. You're going to pack snacks, um, sandwiches. I like to do tuna sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I like to do a lot of fruits, vegetables. Um, I love peanuts because when I'm on the road, I like to be eating every hour to two hours and peanuts are something that I can easily snack on. They're a bit messy, but it is what it is. Um, make sure you don't get hungry. That kind of goes back to what I was just talking about. Make sure that you're eating every one to two hours, like I already said. So that way you don't get hungry because if you get hungry, you're going to have a tendency to want to eat something quick like Burger King or McDonald's. So don't let your, don't let yourself get to that point. Um, I try to limit myself to just one big meal a day whether that's going out and eating or something that I've packed for myself, it doesn't really matter. If you're gonna go out and eat, and if you wanna do that, plan ahead. Restaurants have this psychological game set up, so when you go in there, you sit in this big comfy chair, you meet a server that's got this huge smile on their face, they want you to buy a ton of food. They don't care about your diet. You care about your diet, so you have to care about what you're eating when you go in there. So before you go into a restaurant, Red Robin, Subway, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you have a plan of action when you go into that restaurant so you're not getting out of line on your diet. Um, make sure you're limiting your foods. I'm sorry. Make sure you're limiting your liquids. Um, if you drink a lot while you're traveling, you're going to have to pee a lot more, which means more stops at rest stops, more stops at gas stations. And that means your trip's going to take longer and you're going to have more of a chance at temptation for those foods in the gas stations and at the rest, stop, rest stops in the vending machines. And last, make sure that your hotel room has a fridge. That way you can store your foods easily overnight and you don't have to worry about buying a lot of ice. This has been Russ with FatToStacked.com and today we've talked about dieting while traveling. Hit me up below, like, comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. Check out my website, fat2stacked.com, Facebook and Twitter account. And we'll see you guys next time.